of the three versions of pumps that I've worked on, this, the uh, Piranha 800 is perhaps the easiest to open up and get operational again, especially when it gets this seized, although this one seems to seize up a little more aggressively than the other pumps that I'm familiar with. To do that, you need to remove the impeller. You can clean that up. It exposes the shaft. Um, you can use some WD-40 here, and these are also little drain screws to get the fluid out, out of this, which may need to be done routinely in terms of uh, keeping this clean. Uh, this one's not operational, so I'm going to get this operational. Remove the cap. Under here is where you'll find the wiring. Uh, underneath this are the brushes. The brushes need to be clean, thoroughly cleaned. And then the magnets that go inside this, uh, this motor housing need to be cleaned as well. There's, there's a lot of corrosion. You can actually, I'm not sure you can see it in the video, but there's a lot of corrosion here. The hardest part to do this is to remove the zip tie and get this, this waterproofing grommet out of here. So now that I've got the wiring and the grommet out, this whole assembly with the rotor can come out of it. I'll use a light blow with the hammer. So using a punch and a, and a light hammer, I used a brass hammer to protect it, I was able to push the rotor out. Here you'll see the corrosion on the motor rotor. It all needs to be cleaned off carefully. Uh, there's the brushes. The brushes are actually, look to be in pretty good shape. They just need to be cleaned up as well. And here's all the muck that is preventing this motor from running. So all that needs to be cleaned out, sanded out. I'm going to soak this further in WD-40, um, degrease the whole thing, get it sanded out inside, and then, uh, and then reassemble. Now I'm ready for reassembly of this Piranha 800 pump. Uh, one of the things I did was use navel jelly, any brand you can use, to really clean this out. This was in horrible condition. You can see it's not perfect, but the corrosion that was in there has been uh, reduced dramatically. I let some navel jelly sit in there overnight. <clears throat> Didn't seem to bother this at all. Um, I'll put a coating of uh, WD-40 on this to protect it before I reassemble it. And uh, it's, it's ready to go. I uh, stand, sanded the rotor. So this is gonna have uh, no uh, metal to metal or corrosion. The contacts have been sanded down, so this is in very good condition. The only thing that doesn't look that good, but it's still very functional. I, I sanded the brushes, but inside there, it's still not very clean, but that's not going to have any effect on the performance of the pump. Instead of WD-40, I decided to uh, do a light dusting with rust reformer uh, to convert the rust into a protective coating. So that should really help it very long term and will not affect the performance.